Yeah, my wonderful people. Good morning to you all. Oh, happy New Week. We don't have another month again. No, oh. I think we are wrapping up uh, this month. This month we don't deny popara popara po. I think before the end of this week, I am going to say bye bye to the month of June. Anyway, where you day? As long as you hear my voice, so oh, my name never change. Now still I'm Andy Anezo speaking from the platform of Okute Daily Talk. I the true way my salute give you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. And I welcome you all to this uh, 27th day of the month of June in the year of 2023. Today happens to be Monday in our calendar. So, we will just do what? We will carry waka, go meet a lawyer, Jimako. He gave what he talk. I know they clear with it, but we're going to hear this headline. Can also cancel appeals to President uh, Tulumbu for Mazinam the Kano's uh, release. So this one is coming from the office of uh, Aloy Ejimako, or you can call him Aloy Shis Ejimako. He don't de plead whether he's pleading or he's appealing. But as he stands now, I don't think there's anything like appeal or pleading for anybody to release Mazinam the Kano because the time for that have come and gone. Now we are facing the judiciary. Pleading with him means that Kano committed an offense. But the court of competent jurisdiction in Nigeria have said this man is free and free, so let him go. He has been discharged and acquitted, so I don't see the reason why a lawyer of your kind coming to the social media to plead for 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 Martin and the Canos release. My dear, it is not supposed, and we are not hoping on that. We are hoping on unconditional release of Martin and the Canos, even with the compensation from Nigeria, from Kenya, and from anyone that is involved. In the kidnap of Mazen Nam the Kano in the in the year of 2021. So that's all it didn't take be. My wonderful people, please. Eh? I don't want to take much of your time. In case you never subscribe, oh, we are doing much, very much better. And I want you to do what to do that ASAP. Oh. Like, share, and make sure this video goes authentic viral. Let every nooks and crannies of this nation, even those ones in that spot, I beg make gonna keep sharing. Because without you, there'll be no good daily talk. I would have my kind of news. You know, go even the jollificator as you listen to every other news. So, we're gonna do what? We're gonna tighten on a seatbelt because we are about to take off. This our flight yo, is very, it's going to fly on a very high altitude. It's not going down, it's going front, and we're not going to die in Jesus' name. <laughs> because I see somebody pay two hundred and fifty thousand dollars just to go to to see the debris of uh, Titanic. At the end of the day, the whole millionaires, all of them, their life wasted. What a world! I think some people come to this life just to make money and they use that money to make more care of themselves and they kill their own self. That's exactly the point there. Yeah. 12,000 people, 91 go. And uh, they tell me, say, you have brain. My dear, <laughs> your brain don't waste it, though. So, my good people, oh, make on a do water, make on a touching on a city belt. Oh. This flight is about to take off and we are going flying on a very high attitude. A special council. To the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, I pop Mazen Nam the Kano, a lawyer Jimako, nine being name. He has uh, all the President Bolambe Tunumbu to rectify the past misdeed of former President Muhammad Buhari by freeing Mazen Nam the Kano or by releasing him and letting him go. Ejimako pointed out on Twitter that the constitution gives the president the power to put an end to any criminal trial, urging President Tunumbu not to wait. For the Supreme Court to act because their acting have to depend on September and is very very far from now. According to Ejimako, under the Constitution, the uh, Attorney General of the Federation, in practice, the President has the power to stop any criminal trial, so the President Tunumbu doesn't have to wait for the Supreme Court to undo the grave injustice that is the redition done by his predecessor by releasing Mazinam the Kano at official uh, bat. Kano has been in custody since his arrest and the repatriation from Kenya two years ago for advocating the actualization of the state of Biafra. Despite court orders for his release, the Nigerian government has kept him detained. And I don't know. Uh, it's like uh, Nigeria now has turned to Banana Republic, and that is what I keep saying every now and then. Tears as a pretty bride by few hours to her wedding ceremony. My dear, this one a big mess. So very, very big mess. Few hours to your wedding, you die. This one, no banje. Uh -huh. This the agreement has been signed that she can never make it on the day of her wedding. That is the simple truth. She comes from the underworld, according to scientists. <laughs> this one, my own scientist. So I don't know about you. 
So let us proceed, my wonderful people. The family of Nigerian lady Esther Chigozie Ihebunado Ihe Ihe has been thrown into mourning after she lost her life in a ghastly accident along Enugu on Osha Road. Tragedy may her soul rest in perfect peace. She never had desire to depart so early. But whichever way it is, our only thing we can do is just to pray for her. Let her go in peace. It was gathered that the deceased wedding was supposed to hold on February, sorry, on um, Friday, this car, last week, June 23, at Deeper Life Bible Church, Ubudu Road, Abahu Delta, but she died in a motor accident on June 22. Ihe Bunadu was on his way to her community, Oposi Ohazara, Ohaz, okay, Ohazara, local government area of Ebony State when the ugly incident occurred. According to the news, speaking about the tragic incident, Obina Michael, a lady of the deceased, expressed sadness over the said incident. He said, what a wicked and terrible world we are living in. You, are ju you just know today, or oh, you just wake up to know that the world is wicked and terrible. Thank God you just realized. We heard that her traditional marriage supposed to be on Friday, 23rd June, 2023, which is today, that is uh, on Friday. But uh, she had a ghastly motor vehicle accident on her way to Enugu, her home state, for a traditional marriage. On Wednesday, 21st June, and passed on, Thursday, 20, uh, okay, passed on on 20, Thursday, 22nd June. This is heartbreaking, heartache, and terrible news to the public. The both families are going through a traumatic experience now. May God comfort them and start by them in this time of agony. Lamenting further, he stated that uh, we are not praying for untimely dead, but yet we are to we are to prepare for it every day, every moment, and every second. You are right, my dear. We must add that to our daily plans too. We don't know when, where, or how it will happen. Only God can predict, and only Him knows how long a man will live on earth. And so be it. In the other hand, though, Tunumbu and APC is set to defend election victory this coming week. Is him going to appear before the tribunal? The answer is no. The military covers them. They can go anywhere and do whatever they like. Only the lawyers will be in court, quoting and unquoting. And that is why, you see, everything that has to do with election tribunal uh, 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 um, uh, result or whatever it is, my dear brothers, my dear sisters, Nigerians have to wake up to this. It has to be concluded before swearing in because after swearing in, what follows is a history. The All Poverty Congress, APC, and Pres President Bola Tunumbo will commence their defense next week against a petition challenging the presidential election outcome. Tunumbo, who received 8,794,722 votes in the election, beat out Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party who received 6,984,520 votes, and Peter B of the Labour Party, who gained 6,101,533 votes. Following the election, Obi, Atiku, and their respective parties lodged petitions before the tribunal. The Allied People's Movement, APM, has also filed a petition and completed their case after calling one witness. Atiku and the PDP closed their case after calling 27 witnesses while Obi and the Labour Party uh, rested their case after presenting 13 good witnesses. During last uh, tribunal season, the lawyers agreed to postpone their defense until after the Muslim holiday, as opposed to the original schedule of June 31. My laws, all of us took into consideration some uh, salient factors, especially the fact that uh, some of us we love to travel to celebrate with our families and loved ones, said Wole Wole Olanekweko, counsel to Tunumbu. The five member panel of justice led by Simon Haruna Samani granted the request and adjourned the case till or until July 3 to commence. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, is expected to present its defense first before any other thing. So let them come up 
with the result of what of the beavers or whatever they think they use to manipulate the election or they use to do the election results. CBN told to withdraw request second social media handles of customers. Nigerian and their rubbish law keep on enacting law that never work. You are asking your your the handles of uh, of your customers what for and what are you going to use with it? Is it everybody in social media? Somebody can have bank bank account but never have a handle or whatever you call it. The Central Bank of Nigeria CBN has been uh, all to withdraw the request, seeking other customers' information like social media handles for the purpose of further identification. Rubbish. The NIN, you people, first people to do. What is that one? Or BVN? What are they being used for? Nonsense country that never, never, ever uh, 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 do anything uh, and uh, people will clap for them rather than doing it the other way around. Nigeria reported that on Saturday that the Apex bank directed all banks and other financial institutions to obtain the social media handles residential address and bank verification number bvn of their customers it was gathered that the cbn also mandated the financial institution to get email addresses telephone numbers places of birth and other vital information of their customers the apex bank disclosed this in its newly released central bank of nigeria customer due diligence regulations of 2023 documents according to the cbn the new directive forms uh, forms part of its new customer due diligence regulations and is in a bid to further deepen the identification process in the banking system however in its reaction to the new cbn directive social economic rights and accountability project serap has called on the acting governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Fola Shodun Shonubi, to immediately withdraw the circular from which the directive was given. Serap, in a letter dated June 23, 24, 2023, and signed by Serap Deputy Director of the organization, Kola Wale Oluwado Dare, asked the CBN to immediately delete the patently unlawful provisions in the Central Bank of Nigeria customer due diligence. Regulations directing banks to obtain information on customers' social media handles for the purpose of identifications. Withdrawing the circular number FPR slash DIR slash POB slash CIR slash 007 slash 006 of 20 June 2023. Mandating banks and other financial institutions to implement and comply with the unlawful mandatory provisions on customers' social media handles in the CBN regulations, the CBN boss was told. The group continued by saying the CBN regulations and directives to banks to obtain details of customers' social media addresses for let Nigerian rights to freedom of expression and privacy. It is inconsistent and incompatible with the rule of law. The CBN ought to contribute to the advancement of respect for the rule of law and the human rights in the discharge of its statutory functions and not undermine or violate these fundamental legal requirements and standards. The purported mandatory requirements would inhabit, in, inhabit a Nigerians from freely exercising their human rights online if obtained such information may also be misused for political and other unlawful purposes. We will be grateful if the recommended measures are taken within three days of the receipt and or publications of this letter. If we have not heard from you by then, Syrup shall take all appropriate legal actions to compare you and the CBN to comply with our request in the public interest. CBN re uh, regulations and directives to banks and other financial institutions would immersively restrict the constitutional and international rights to freedom of expression, privacy and victims, right to justice and effective remedies. Requiring social media handles or addresses of customers as a means of identification would have a disproportionate okay, chilling effect on the effective enjoyment by Nigerians of the, their rights to freedom of expression and privacy online. The CBN bears the burden of justifying any restriction on people's freedom of expression and privacy. Under the Nigerian Constitution 1999 as amended, 
and the human rights duties to which the country is a state party uh, is a state party any decisions on these rights must be applied strictly so that the rights are not put in jeopardy there are there are other means of identification such as passport driver's license bank verification number bvn and tax identification number 10 which banks and other financial institutions already require their customers to provide so i don't know why they want to add uh, your personal house address where you live what if people give them fake house address that's simply the truth what people what if people give them the fake social media handles that's the truth um, when nigeria is a banana republic the additional requirement of obtaining details of customers social media handle or addresses fails to meet the requirements of legality necessity and pro, 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 proportionality proportionality yeah this way you my wife my brother we're gonna look me with you bo. in the other hand though we have former governor of uh, former governor okoroncha denies political ties with the here uh, keep on denying former governor of Imo state rochas okorawosa denies any political affiliation with a making here uh, the immediate past governor of the state he cleared this uh, during the discussion with journalists as it mentioned in over the state capital Okura also commented on rumors or commented on rumors surrounding his recent visit to Ihe Johan's house in MBC, certain that those making the political issues of it were mistaken. When asked to comment on the perceiving growing relationship between him and Ihe Johan, Okura also, who served as governor from 2011 to 2019, explained there was nothing politically significant about their connection. I have no political romance with Ihedo. I don't have one and I don't intend to have any, he stated. The former governor clarified that his visit to Ihedo's house was purely out of sympathy following the death of uh, Ihedo's mother. I know what it means to lose a mother and it was incumbent on me to identify with him at the moment of his grief. It is biblical. There's nothing special about it, Okoraosa laments. And we have uh, this issue here. Ministerial appointments, APC said to send list to Tunumbu as lobby gets hotter. In case you dare hear, you hear my voice, you are planning to join the list of the lobbying uh, for the minister, ministerial position or ministerial appointment under this regime. Oh, yeah. Write your name at the comment section. I will submit submit it direct to Agbado, or I will go to Azorok myself. Since uh, Azorok has become a, a beer parlor, whereby any mixed crowns can walk in and walk out. If, if the likes of uh, Azorok Dokubo can go in there and come out, or even grant interviews, so I myself, I can also go in there and also what, and come outside. So please, my viewers, subscribers, and those who want to know what I'm doing, write your name if you want to belong to this uh, uh uh, these uh, uh, administrations in the administrative nominees, please let your name be written at the comment section, and I will do what I will submit it, or I will go directly there myself to get things sorted out for you. There are strong indications that some chapters of the ruling All Progressive Congress (APC) have completed the compilation for ministerial appointment from President Bola Ahmed Tunumbu. Also, others as gathered by Nigerian News are still in the process of compilation to be forwarded to the party secretariat in Abuja for onward transmission to President Tunumbu. While several groups have called on the president not to consider old governors and other categories for appointments, former governors, senators, and other big wigs in the ruling party have reportedly intensified their lobby for ministerial appointments in Tunumbu's cabinet. According to Daily Post, speculations are that the party chieftains, including ex-governors and former lawmakers who lost out in the February 25th election, have been cited frequently at the APC National Secretariat in the past few weeks, which is considered to be to lobby their ways for appointment, while others who are not physically present, like former governors E.K. Don Hakim of Imo State, Nasri Erufai of Kaduna State, and Abdullah Gandhi of Kano have been strongly noted. Lobbying as governors for ministerial positions. 
lobbying as governor from his cellar position. So, uh, these people now, all these our so called politicians now, they have no other business again. Once they get into office as either the senator or governor or whatever, that will be until death do them part. That is exactly what I'm saying it because they don't have any other thing whatsoever to do in this life other than jumping from one position to the other, looking for for bogus salaries and bogus take take back home and packages from the government. Why the government are complaining? There's no money. If the cost of government or the cost of governance have been cut down, I don't think all these people will be jostling for another position, even serving as a governor for eight good years, as a senator for eight good years, as a minister for eight good years, house of rep for eight good years, and other ministerial appointments. Still yet, they are still jumping from one place to the other. Like Asha was. It was learned that the immediate past Senate uh, majority leader, Senator Ibrahim Gobri, is being considered for a ministerial slot in Sokoto State, while past members in Osun State are rooting for the immediate past governor of the state, Boyega Oyetala, to be named a minister in their state as well. Also, Nigerians understand that the state chapters of APC are also jostling for slots as compensation for their contributions to Tunumbu's presidency's presidential victory. It is not by merit, it is compensation. In other words, they are not there to work anything. They see it as their best right for helping the so-called administration to rig election or whatsoever in any way they do it. So all the appointment now that is being they are being jostling is not because they are qualified to be there, simply because they feel it is their best right and their right. Hmm, Nigeria. On our way down. Speaking with Daily Post. A party source confirmed that chieftains of the party who didn't win at the 2023 general elections and contributed immensely to Tunumbu's victory will be awarded with ministerial jobs or other high ranking positions. The source who pleaded anonymity disclosed that such appointments will be determined on a quid pro quo basis. According to the source, you want to be appointed as a minister, but meanwhile, you were you were not able to even deliver your own pulling unit for Asuaju. It is not possible. This is politics. Okay. There are people in the in the party who obviously worked against us. Against us. Such people are now lobbying for ministerial laws. How is that possible? The fact that uh, you are well known in the party is not enough reason to be appointed. You gain forever based on the favor you render. In other words. Your qualification does not matter. Good to do the job does not matter. As, lo as long as uh, you are a lawyer, party chieftain, you are going to be rewarded with a ministerial slot or positions. There are some people who are not members of our party but fought a good fight to ensure that Aswaju won that election. Should Tunumbu now abandon them and go for those who didn't do anything just because they are party members? No, it doesn't work like that, according to APC. If you are not lawyer, you cannot work with Bola Tunumbu. He works with people he trusts, not someone who is just an APC member. We are not talking about lawyers here. If you are not lawyer, if you cannot deliver, if you cannot bring court, that is the loyalty the politicians are talking about. Not lawyer to be humble, to do the work which have been given to No, you have to agree that everything that has come into your table, you have to split it into three. One for them, one for you, and the little one that remains goes for the people that is the problem we are having and that is why we keep having abandoned projects every now and then tragedy as speedboat carrying 14 medical students on cruise caps capsizes in calabar may their soul rest in perfect peace three medical students have been confirmed dead after a speedboat capsized in the calabar channel on saturday afternoon Nigerians learned that medical students under the urges of the Med Nigerian Medical Students Association, NIMASA, came from universities across the country to attend the NIMASA Annual Health Week in Calabar. In a bid to explore the city, the students were said to have headed to the Marina Resort for a boat, uh, boat uh, cruise. But I don't cruise to death you now. Every time people without even use their brain, they want to go to boat cruise. On a, on a very, very mighty river. I turned and I go fire all of one. Uh, you want me to write rest in peace? Ta! Nonsense. 
Sadly, the boat capsized during the cruise, while 11 students have been rescued. Three are currently missing, and they have been dead. An eyewitness who spoke to Daily Post said the tragic incident occurred due to high waves on the Calabar Channel. The boat capsized due to high waves on Calabar Channel and the 14 passengers, including the driver, drowned. But the fortunate thing is that Nigerian Navy patrol teams were nearby. That is, that is the only savior. So their divers were able to save 11 out of the 14. Meanwhile, the state governor, Basi Otto, Otto has ordered an investigation into the cruise boat mishap involving the 14 medical students. What investigation? What investigation? Everything investigate, everything investigate. Nonsense. In a statement released by his chief press secretary, Emmanuel Obeche, the governor expressed sadness that the three of the medical students who were in Calabar for the Nigerian medical students' games were yet to be found. Let them go when they reach. When they reach the land of the dead, let them explain what happened and why the only way they we want to they want to find uh, 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 what they call it, they want to find a uh, comfort is going on the high river or the high sea that the wave is not here with a common speed boat and uh, with, uh, with 14 passengers on board. Dara and Dara. The governor charged security and rescue agencies as well as local villagers involved in the operation to find the missing students and reunite them with their families. They are nowhere to be found. All those ones have become. A sacrifice for the gods. Reaction so as Okonjo Iwala finally post picture with Ahmed Tunumbu. Ahmed Adekunle Tunumbu. The director general of the World Trade Organization, Ngozi Okonjo Iwala, has finally posted a picture with President Bola Tunumbu in France after backlash from social media users. Nigerian News earlier reported that Okonjo Iwala via her Twitter page on Friday shared photos of herself and African president at the Paris Global Financial Summit and the skip pictures with Tunumbu. Following the development, supporters of the president and members of All Poverty Congress, APC, berated the former Minister of Finance for allegedly snubbing the Nigerian president at the event. However, the World Trade Organization Bulls has finally posted a picture with the president Tunumbu and other leaders at the summit following the series of reactions from netizens. Below are some of the reactions to the new post. So let us see, uh, let us take some minutes of your time to review what the netizens have to say about this photo that surfaces online. At Stainless 231 wrote, This is how politicians play with your intelligence. Nice if you have. They give you what would actually trigger hatred so as to get a divided number. I am a building AA root. This woman a legend. See as she they play all of her. Well, stop insulting people because of uh, politicians. Politicians don't hate each other. Yes, that is the simple truth. They never hate each other. Abdulaziz Muda wrote, Lo, they dragged the woman till she posted to Numbu. Also, bandits in both Labour Party and APC are like, uh, be like, na only PDP, no get online bandits. Hey, <laughs> wala, no they finish. Wala, what do you At the Aye Mojuba wrote, the children of a con can rest now. As an experienced broker, she saved the best for last to see how the Abado Rono uh Rono will react and they will never fail to disappoint. Okay, oh I hear I hear you. At really one underscore or like oh one wrote now that she posted the picture with him, can we now rest and go back to the critical issue that can further damage our country's image and reputation? Let us continue. No problem. <laughs> Yusuf at Rotu, now the poor Abado children can brave. Okay, oh, allow the children, <laughs> allow the poor to breathe. At Omega X Dreams Road, APC supporters can breathe now. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala will be respected than your president anytime, any day, both in Nigeria and the world at large. Wala, too much. She trained hard for her for all qualifications and certificates. None is fake, like bad. 
She has the biggest personality out of Nigeria. Ng. Hey. She is highly respected and accepted globally. Please take that to the bank and cash out. And cast out. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't finish you. <laughs> I brought this one. Eh? Uh, at Mr. Chima, Chimubi Kano wrote, hey, yeah, they made it to the cons uh, consolidation list. But was like, Madame, director, waiting you they do. No good, oh, Madame. Ngo, just bone face like, what is this? One say himself, I beg you, leave my hand, make I go meet important people, or jare, according to this uh, uh, netizen. And we have another one here at Irunia Road. All the Abado people that didn't sleep throughout last night because they are drafting tweets can now go to sleep and rest very well in their respective homes, according to this user. We have a tension so in a Jegunle over a naval. Officer, officer say buying. I don't know what happens and what regards to the buying or to the killing of a naval officer in Ajegunle, Nigerian Navy onward together. Residents of Ajegunle in Ajeromi, if a London local government area of Lagos, who are living in apprehension following the fatal shooting of a naval officer. The officer who was reportedly minding his own business was killed by unidentified gunmen. This tragic incident comes just a year after a female naval officer was murdered in the same area. A resident, a resident Anthony Kojo, who spoke, uh, who spoke uh, with Daily Trust, said, We are living in fear. We heard that his colleagues wanted to avenge his death. Somehow, anyhow. The naval officer was walking around Olowo Jeje area of Ajegunle when he was shot by unknown gunmen. Some people said that uh, they were courtist, but others said no. The Navy men in his area are angry that one of their female colleagues was killed last year, while another escaped with injuries around boundary area of Adisem Ajegunle. The injured female officer and the deceased one reportedly saw off one of their colleagues when they were attacked. According to some accounts, the officer was walking around the Olongu Jeunje area of Ajegunle when he was ambushed. The identity of the shooters remains unclear, with some, uh, with, with some speculating that they were members of a court. Concerns have been raised as reports circulate that the naval officers stationed in the area are demanding justice for their fallen colleague, inciting fear among local residents. The Nigerian Navy has issued a warning to its officers in the area, urging them not to seek vengeance for their deceased comrade. The Lagos State Police Public Relations Officer, uh, SP Benjamin Hundeyin, confirmed the incident but stated that uh, no arrests have been made in connection with the shooting yet. He revealed that the late naval officer was serving at the Lagos Logistic Depot of the Nigerian Navy at the time of the incident and his body has been taken to the Nigerian Navy Hospital Morgue in Ojo, Alaba. Hundoyen confirmed it is true a naval officer was killed. Investigation has uh, had has started, but nobody has been arrested yet concerning the said issue. Former Speaker Dugara urges Tunumbu to tackle for subsidy cabals. He is among the cabals to tell me how he's going to tackle his own self. Just like corruption fighting corruption, it can, it can never be done. Former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Yakubu Dogara, has encouraged President Bolame Tunumbu to confront the so called subsidy cabals head on. He recommended the President's recent decision to remove first subsidy as an excellent move, but emphasized the need for Tunumbu to use his powers to recover any misappropriated funds in. Uh, during this uh, uh, shenanigans. In a conversation with the reporters during a Thanksgiving church service in Kaduna, Dugara expressed support for the president's action, stating, We stand by him on the subsidy removal, but he must be courageous to pursue the subsidy cabals and recover all the stolen monies from them and prosecute them accordingly. Make I hear. If I hear, 
The former speaker noted that Tulumbo has displayed admirable leadership skills by including representatives from all regions in the appointment of service chiefs, irrespective of party, ethnicity, and religion. Southern Kaduna Senator Sunday Masha Kuten echoed these sentiments praising the present, uh, president's recent appointment as a sign of equity and justice. He all the newly appointed service chiefs to tackle the nation's security issues, particularly in the northern region. The president of the Evangelical Church, winning all, uh, winning all, Equa, and the vice president of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, Reverend Dr. Stephen Baba Panya, also lauded President Tunumbo on the outcome. He commended both the first subsidy removal and appointment of service chiefs as deliberate efforts by the president to avoid the skilled appointment witnessed in the previous administration. Last but not the least, Reverend Father A.G. Kembaka apologizes for church's political engagement in 2023 general elections. The spiritual director of Adoration Ministry in Enugu, Reverend Father A.G. Kembaka, has re expressed remorse on behalf of church leaders for turning the church into a political platform during the 2023 election. It didn't start today and it's not going to end today. On Adoga, though, the thing he used to choke you, if you didn't say it, you never have rest of mind simply because you even uh, lobbying for ministerial positions from father to ministerial positions. Continue. Mbaka expressed his dismay that churches have been used as a campaign hubs with political discussions and activities becoming common occurrences. The spiritual director highlighted that church leaders had instructed their congregations on who to vote for and how to cast their votes. Indirecting, taking about, indirecting, talking, uh, taking about the Labour Party, he also pointed out that priests had given religious significance to political symbols, telling their congregations that the logo.